Hi, uh, my name is Jeff Knezovich. I am the Policy Influence and Research Uptake Manager for the Future Health Systems Research Consortium, which is a very long title, but basically means that I work to make sure that our research on health systems in developing countries is used. And today we were talking a little bit about how we get research into use, um, and particularly we're talking about policy influence and um, I kind of had put out there a very simplified version of something called the Rapid Outcome Mapping Approach, or ROMA, which the RAPID program at the Overseas Development Institute uh, developed about three or, or maybe four years ago now. And um, I think that what's really important when it comes to getting research actually taken up by the stakeholders um, that you want to uh, is having, first of all, some sort of understanding of the policy landscape and so that means everything from what sort of policies are out there, what already exists, um, where they are in the policy cycle perhaps because the type of research that you would want to use when it comes to checking whether or not uh, a policy has been effectively implemented is very different from just straight getting research or a different um, topic onto the agenda. So understanding where that is is really important and I think one of the other things that's really important about that is um, when we're looking through the whole policy cycle, it's really important to understand who the different actors are who are involved in that. So having a very clear and good and thorough uh, analysis of the stakeholders is really important. So that's the first element, is understanding the policy landscape, both the actors and the process. Uh, the second element of it is just about figuring out what your theory of change is, what works best in your context. So it might be around thinking through how you can build a coalition working in, uh, if your target is the government, working with government departments, various elements of the government, um, outside external actors, uh, civil society organizations, pressure groups, lobbyists, maybe, maybe even political parties to work together to make that change. Uh, maybe you're working in a context where it's the policy elites who are going to be governing that and what you really need to do is uh, targeting the pu policy elites. Or maybe you're in a situation where you're trying to create some, sorts of, some sort of grassroots uh, change and so building the grassroots network um, for action is really important. So determining what's going to work in your context is part of it and what your theory of how this change is going to work is a key element of it. From there, uh, after you have a strategy, uh, or at least a theory of change, it's about developing a plan. Um, and one of the things that we talked about today is it's actually, I think, the planning that's more important than the plan itself, because you need to be able to adapt the plan to be opportunistic, to take advantage of um, anything that changes in the external environment or new findings from your research. And I think that that's um, another really important element of it, and I would say kind of the final element of the, uh, of the, the process, is establishing effective monitoring, and I don't even want to say evaluation, but certainly learning systems um, to, for both the external environment and for the research as it's going along. So you need to be knowing what's happening in that policy context in which you're working. And if there are sudden changes, for example, the global financial crisis, suddenly your plan is completely irrelevant and you need to go again. So um, go back to the drawing board, that is. So I think that that's really important and, and making sure you're building in learning mechanisms as you're going along so you know what's working and what's not working and you don't repeat the same mistakes is really important.